Dear ladies and gentlemen, my name is Daniel and I study here at the Department of English and American Studies. And I know that some of you are interested in studying abroad too, maybe here at the University of Ostrava, and I would like to help you with that. I know that it might be a bit tricky to imagine something under English philology. At our department, it's not only about learning new vocabulary or grammar every day. It's more like about learning the language itself and understanding the deep context of the language. And this can be later used, for example, in the English for business. Another part of your studies is going to be English culture and history. Here you will find out why Brexit was not such a coincidence or why Barack Obama or Donald Trump became American presidents. And not only about this news, our teachers talk in news or in television. Another part of your studies is going to be English literature. And here you will not only develop your vocabulary, but you will also read a lot of interesting poems and stories, which will also develop your critical thinking skill. And this skill can be used in real life or while looking for a job. I think that you have already realized that the language of instruction is English. That means you will not face any language barrier and you will use English while talking to our teachers, professors, either via email or in person. And also some of your classmates are going to be foreign students too, as an exchange students or they will be completely your classmates. From my own experience, I can say that since we are talking about teachers, they are very open-minded and you do not have to be afraid to ask them for any kind of help. They are definitely willing to help you anytime. Ostrava is definitely a beautiful city and place, but why not to use this opportunity to see something else too? Because with our department, you can always go for Erasmus and our department can offer you such destinations as sunny Spain, cold Sweden, and you can try what it feels like to study at some foreign university or you can try to find a job at some foreign company. I believe that this journey is something with what you will never forget and it will definitely give you also like a small point into your CV later. And I know that you are also interested in scholarship. Our university offers scholarship in, a, in form of accommodation scholarship but also scholarship based on your good grades and I can recommend you to check your governmental scholarships because some governments also offer some scholarship for international students too. And once your grandma asks you what you will finally become when you graduate here, you can tell her with a big smile on your face that you can work in media, tourism, international relations, or for example, publishing. It's totally up to you. But I can tell you that our graduates with this kind of education will not have a problem finding good and interesting job. And what you have to do to become our student finally? Well, it's actually pretty easy. You only have to submit uh, your online application and you don't, have to, you don't have to travel here at all because everything is online. And the only thing we have to see is a proof that you finished your previous studies successfully that your level of English is good enough to study here. And if you apply for masters, you also have to submit your portfolio. But for the detailed information, you have to check our web pages. And in case that you have more questions, definitely contact us anytime, for example, through email. And that's it. I can only wish you good luck with your entry exams. Do not be afraid at all with this journey. Do it. And I hope that we will see each other next year at the corridors of our department. See you later and good luck.